Hello, fourth grade scientists. This is Mrs. Cook. I'm here to talk to you about what we're going to be studying for the next few weeks. For the next two weeks, we're going to be learning about how plants and animals adapt to their environments. Specifically, we're going to be focusing on animals. So animals have different ways that they adapt. Some of the ways that they adapt we can see, and those are called external structures. And then they have some ways that they adapt that we cannot see, and those are called internal structures. An example of an external structure is that polar bear's fur is white, and then it helps them blend into their environment, which is also called camouflage. Can you think of another animal that has camouflage? I bet you can. So camouflage is an external structure. An example of an internal structure is, have you ever seen a dog or a cat, and when they get overheated, they pant? You know, their tongue sticks out, they're breathing kind of heavily. Well, dogs and cats don't sweat. So the way that they regulate their body temperature when they're too hot and the way that they cool off is by panting. And that helps their whole body cool off. And that's an example of an internal structure that helps them survive in their habitat. So again, over the next two weeks, we will be learning more about how animals adapt to their environments and the internal structures, the things inside of them that we cannot see, and the external structures, the things that are on the outside that we can see that help animals survive. Today, you'll be learning very specifically about camouflage. So you're going to watch a couple of uh, mystery uh, Doug, mystery Doug, maybe, mystery science, definitely, videos, um, and learn all about camouflage, which is what kind of a structure? You're right. It's an external structure. All right, scientists. Off you go.